you'll know, Mike Dilger loves trying to do the things that only animals can. We have no idea why, but he does. Yeah. Uh, last time he spent the afternoon in a blacked out tunnel to experience life as a moly, moly, moly! <laughs> Tonight, he's got a handprint scheme to run as fast as you know <laughs> Renowned for its boxing exploits in early spring, the hare is also Britain's fastest land animal, running at over 30 miles an hour. To put it simply, if I were to run against a hare in a 100-metre race, the hare would have finished before I'd even reached halfway. But what is it about the hare that means it can go so fast? Well, one scientist who's been looking at the way animals run is Dr Sarah Williams from the Royal Veterinary College in London. <laughs> So, Sarah, you're going to have to explain your fascination with hare's legs. OK, well, as an anatomist, I'm interested in the functional design of all animals' limbs. So be it a horse, a hare, a cheetah, all of these animals are, have different capabilities in terms of speed and endurance, um, and we're interested to find out why and how they, they're as good as they are. But what makes a hare go so fast? Well, it's a combination of um, very, very powerful muscles in its back leg and stretchy tendons, which can store and release energy. Sarah set up her lab specially so she could film in detail how they move. What's really interesting is when they're at full speed like this, their hind legs are going in front of their front legs. Why? Um, well, it's because their hind legs are powering their locomotion, so they're essentially the engine of the animal. And they're able to bring their hind legs so far forward because they've got a very flexible spine. Now, I want to try them as fast as a hare. How can I manage that? Well, if you're going to run as fast as a hare, you're going to need to try and mimic some part of a hare's limb anatomy. So you might want to get more powerful muscles, um, so stronger legs, or you would need to increase your stride length. No mean feet. No mean feet. But as half the body mass of a hare is pure muscle, I don't think I'll be able to pump that much iron today. But increasing my stride length, that's something I can do. Have you ever done anything similar to this before? Uh, nothing whatsoever. OK. Girls pick it up quicker than guys, because um, it's more like wearing high heels. Yes. Unless you wear high heels, which um, I don't know. Because the hare's back legs are so long, mine need to be at least a foot longer to have any chance of running as fast as a hare. There you go. And like I said, yeah, just for the moment, just keep trying to get your balance by moving your feet around. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Cool. I feel like I should be in a circus. <laughs> this is the nearest I'm ever going to get to hair extensions. Feels good, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 almost the first fall. <laughs> but after a slight wobble, I pick this up really quickly. These specially designed jumping stilts add an extra foot to my leg length and are able to increase my average running speed from around eight miles an hour to a whopping 15. They've extended each stride to nearly three metres. I can really feel how hares move so fast. So I am a human hare. What do you think? Not a bad attempt. What do you reckon to the legs, then? They're great. So you've done two things. You've made your legs longer, and that means that you're going to run with a bigger stride, which is what hares do. They have a very long stride. The second thing that you've done is that you've made your legs more springy. So hares have long elastic tendons in their legs, which act like springs, storing and releasing energy as they run. And that's exactly what you've done. Well, it's very nice to meet you. I must skip off because I have a competition to run. Cheerio. Cheerio. I'm about to go head to head with an animal renowned for beating a hare the hare's true nemesis, the tortoise. Let's see if I can crush that myth. Watch out, sparks will fly. On your marks, set. Congratulations, Frida. Well, that was a truly hair-raising experience. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, as you can imagine, we've already had one million uh, people contacting the show worried about the tortoise with the rocket up its bum. Yeah. It was a stunt tortoise. 
<laughs> I'm afraid to say it was inanimate object. No torches were hurt in the making of that movie, Chris. So it's Good. all okay. It's okay. Thank you. It's all fine. Right.